Hey there, church family. This is Andrew Thompson, your senior pastor, coming to you on this Thursday, September the 10th, for our video Thursday Thoughts message. I have a lot to share with you today, so let's get started. The first thing that I want to share is related to this hard hat I'm wearing, and that is the new Fall Discipleship Sermon Series that we're going to be starting this coming Sunday. The title of the series is DIY Discipleship. That's do-it-yourself discipleship. We want to play off the theme that so many people have found in their own lives over the past five months of do-it-yourself projects. The pandemic has led a lot of us to engage in projects at home that we might not have done otherwise because we've been alone more and we've been at our houses more. You know, if we can engage in the practical household do-it-yourself projects, then surely we can engage in some DIY discipleship as well. The one thing that God wants us to do more than anything is to learn what it means to follow his son, Jesus Christ. And so we're going to be looking at DIY discipleship as a theme over the coming six weeks. In addition to that, one of the things that I'm really excited about is that as a part of this series, we're going to be welcoming Dr. Kevin Watson to our church campus on the weekend of September the 19th and 20th. That's a week from this coming weekend. Dr. Watson is a professor of Wesley and Methodist Studies at the Candler School of Theology at Emory University. That's one of our United Methodist Seminaries. He is going to be on our campus to offer a couple of workshops on Saturday the 19th. The first one on Saturday morning from 9 to 11 a.m. is going to focus on men's ministry. It's going to be called I've Got Your Back. And I want to use that to build off of a lot of the energy that we have around men's ministry that's growing in the life of our church. So for all of the men of First Church, I'm going to encourage you to sign up for that opportunity on Saturday morning, September the 19th from 9 to 11. Also on Saturday from 1 to 3 p.m., Dr. Watson is going to offer a broader workshop that's going to be titled Christianity is a Team Sport, Lessons from the Early Methodist Revival. He's going to be looking at a lot of what was going on with small group discipleship in the 1700s and the early Methodist period and drawing some parallels for things that we can learn today. In addition to that wonderful stuff that's going to happen on Saturday morning in our Family Life Center, Dr. Watson is going to be with us on Sunday, September the 20th, to preach in our 8.30 and 11 a.m. worship services. Another opportunity that we have coming up, Josh Bland wanted me to mention this to you, and that has to do with our outreach to area schools, what we call our scholastic mission. You're familiar with the partnership that we have with Monitor Elementary School, but we've done work with other schools as well. Josh wants to challenge us to feed 1,000 students per week during this school year. That is going to be ramping up the commitment that we have had in our scholastic mission to feed hungry kids in the Springdale School District up to this point. And in order to do that, we need to raise $15,000. Now, I'm going to have a link to a video that Josh has shot as well as a link to a way to give in the written version of this Thursday Thoughts message. So after you watch the video, make sure that you scroll down on your email. Go ahead and read the written version of it as well. Click on those links and help us feed hungry kids in Springdale. It's an incredibly important thing and an incredibly important way that we can reach out into our community. Also, as many of you know, this coming Sunday is going to be the last Sunday that Josh Dupree, our youth minister, is with us here at the church. Josh and his wife, Chelsea, and their daughter, Charlie, have accepted an invitation to travel back to their home state of Michigan, to Chelsea's own hometown of Holland, so that Josh can take up a position as the senior high youth minister at Christ Memorial Church there. We are sad for us, but we are excited for them. It's a great opportunity for them to go home, which is something that we can all relate to. So please reach out to Josh and Chelsea, bid them a fond farewell, and tell them how proud of them that we are and how thankful we are that God led them to labor with us for a season. Now, many of you may be asking the question, what's going to happen next with our youth ministry? I am on the cusp of being able to share some very exciting news with you about that. I need just a few more days and then I'm going to be sending out a message to the entire congregation to let you know what we have planned for the next chapter, not just in our youth ministry, but really in our family ministry as a whole, in our children's and our youth ministry. And I think that our children, our youth, 
and their parents are going to be very excited about that. So stay tuned. I would ask you to be in prayer about that, not only for Josh and Chelsea and Charlie as they prepare to travel north, but also for our own congregation and what we think is going to happen next. With that said, I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless and keep praying.